Hey there, it's Dr. K. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to minus radical variables. So, let's start with, with an example. A radical variable looks something like this. We have the radical, the square root, and a variable is a letter, like x or y. So we have one radical variable, let's subtract another radical variable from it. We're going to subtract y squared. So the solution to this would be to simplify our radicals first. We know that the radical of a squared number is just the radical itself. I'm sorry, just the variable itself. So the radical of x squared is x. Because we have another perfect square within a radical, we can simplify that as well. So the radical of y squared is y. There you have it. That's the solution to our first problem. So let's say you have a slightly more difficult problem. We're going to say, let's solve the radical of x cubed minus the radical of x, y squared. How do we solve this? So the first step, once again, is going to simplify all of our radicals. We have x cubed, which is going to simplify, and we have another perfect square, y squared, which is going to simplify as well. Here we get x radical x minus y radical x. Because both of these have radical x within them, we can simplify this expression even more. This is going to turn into x minus y, and we're taking out the radical x out of the expression. So what we get is x minus y contained within parentheses multiplied by the radical of x. Either one of these is really the correct answer. It depends how you want to write it down. So there you have it. That's how you subtract radicals with different variables. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.